In my last video, I showed how to set up a live kit real-time AI voice assistant. In this video, I will show how to convert your live kit agent from OpenAI to Grok's free tier API for speech to text and language model inference. Once you have set up your LiveKit voice agent template as shown in the previous video, open your voice agents folder in VS Code. First, we need to add a system variable for our Grok API key within the .env.local file. After saving this file, open your agent.py file. Then at the top, import the OS library. Press Command plus F on Mac or Control plus F on Linux and Windows to search for text. Search for LLM equals, which will be where the code sets the LLM engine for your agent. To see how these live kit dependencies actually work behind the scene, we can right click the OpenAI LLM class and click the top option to go to definition. This opens up the Python dependency file with that class, which if you didn't know, Python dependencies are just a bunch of pre-written Python files that can be reused by any developer. When you use this go to definition method in VS Code, it will open up the dependency file for the Python environment that you have set up within your VS Code settings. By by default, this is going to be the global Python environment for your PC. In the last video, we set up a virtual environment to install this dependency. So if you haven't installed it globally like me, your dependency won't actually exist globally. So to modify the dependency file within your virtual environment, you can simply navigate to the dependency file in the VNV folder for your agent. Within the LLM class for the LiveKit OpenAI LLM plugin, you'll see they have predefined some functions for using the other LLM providers that support the OpenAI API formatting. Taking note of the with Grok function, we can see Grok has an input parameter of model. So back in our agent.py file, we can simply add the with Grok function call, and as an input parameter to the function, we can pass the name of the Grok LLM we want our agent to use. Because LiveKit put support for other LLMs into the LiveKit dependencies, that LLM change was quite simple after understanding how the code works. Unfortunately, LiveKit has not yet added support for the Grok speech-to-text models. So like any good hacker, we are going to update the LiveKit Python dependency files ourselves to support Grok for speech-to-text. To make these updates, right-click the OpenAI STT class and go to definition. Or for virtual environments, it will be the same file in your VMV folder again. In this file that currently only supports the OpenAI API for Whisper, we will convert it to send our audio to the Grok API for their Whisper models to be transcribed fast and free. For this update, we will be modifying a bit more code here, so if you just want to copy my source code for this update to the file, it is available in the Pro Tutorial on my Discord server for AI Austin Pro members. Start by removing the OpenAI and Whisper model imports. In the STT Options class, we can change the model variable to now just be a string. We can also set a temperature variable as float equaling zero. Now in the STT classes init method, change the model from whisper1 to distill whisper large v3 dash en, which is Grok's fastest model for transcribing English speech to text. Change the base URL to Grok's OpenAI formatted API URL. Set the temperature again to zero. For the client parameter, we can change it from OpenAI to the HTTPX async client. In the underscore STT options parameter, Add temperature equals temperature. Change the self.client method to HTTPX. And in the async client parameters, we can change them to send the correct parameters for the HTTPX method. Now in the recognize class, we can modify the API request to be formatted correctly for the Grok API through the HTTPX request. We have completed implementing support for Grok speech-to-text in the LiveKit library. In our agent.py file, we can now pass the Grok API key global environment variable as an input parameter to the STT and LLM engines. Now our agent has been configured to properly use our customized LiveKit dependencies. In VS Code, open a new terminal, and if you are using a virtual environment, activate it with this command. Then we can run this command to start the agent in development mode.
Now when interacting with the agent in the Live Kit Playground, your agent will use Grok for speech to text and the LLM. As you can imagine, there's a lot more updates we can add to this voice agent to make it even more powerful than the ChatGPT voice mode experience. In future videos, I'll go further into showing how to build on this Live Kit voice agent. If you'd like to see how to add function calling, see how to set up the Live Kit front end and API locally for improved privacy, and much more we can add to make our agents far more powerful than ChatGPT's voice mode, generate a like on this video and subscribe to see when those videos go live. If you want early access to the written version of these tutorials before they go live here on YouTube with all of my source code, click the buy me a coffee link in the video's description to become a pro member today. This has been AI Austin. I love you. Mother...